Rafiki namba moja wa burudani na michezo. Rafiki namba moja wa burudani na michezo. Maisha yanavyozidi kwenda ndivyo teknolojia inazidi kukua na teknolojia inahitaji elimu. Sullivan Provosti ni shule ya wavulana inayopatikana Kibaha mkoa ni Pwani. Inatangaza nafasi za masomo kwa kidato cha kwanza mpaka cha nne. Good morning, habari? Are you fine? Are you good? Okay, thank you so much. Um uh, first and foremost, let me thank you for coming in good numbers to our press conference. It's, uh, it's always humbling to see, uh, you know, journalists coming in large numbers because as a former journalist, I know that it means they appreciate the work that you are doing. And um, let, me, let me also thank you in advance for um, welcoming me in Tanzania. And um, so far, so good. Um, I also want to thank you for the support. I think I've gotten your support, and I'm, I'm very happy with how we have been working with some of you. I've not had any difficulty in, in terms of interacting with, with a lot of you. And so I will tell Senzo that you are good people so far. You, you remember the first press conference I said, he warned me about the media here in Tanzania. He said, if I do well, I will get all of the praises, but if I do bad, it will be the end of me. So, so far, so good, right? Yeah, thank you. Um, when, when, we, when, I, when, I, when I got introduced to the club in, in June, I, I made it clear to all of you that uh, the intention is to professionalize the team. Um, the leadership of the team went as far as Botswana to look for somebody that can come and make changes to the team in terms of how the team is run. And um, I want to believe that that was the overall objective of the, of the, the owners of the team. And also, looking at the fact that the team played very well last season, achieving top four, qualifying for CAF, it meant that the team now needs people who can come in with the experience to propel the team to greater heights. Um, this is not um, trying to you know, undermine the work that was done by the people that we found in the club, but you know, as a club, you always want to evolve and, and move with the times. So, they went to Botswana, they took me there, and um, I'm here to make changes where I think um, I need to make changes, you know, to make the team look much better, to make the team stronger, the playing squad, the administrative squad, uh, sorry, uh, team. So in the preseason, you would have noticed that we made a lot of changes in terms of the playing personnel. We brought in a number of players from Africa and some from, you know, around Tanzania. Um, some very expensive players, very experienced, you know, tried and tested some of them. So that alone should show you the, the ambition of the club and um, um, where the club wants to, to go, you know. So it, it then goes without saying that if you are going to um, strengthen the technical department or the playing squad, it therefore means that you, you also have to look at yourself in the office and see and say, where do we lack? And um, as I said, when I came in, I'm only here to ch make changes and make the team better than la where it was in the past two, three seasons. So we, we looked around and uh, we, we saw where the gaps were and uh, we, as, as you see, the challenge ahead of us is CAF, but not only CAF, but we also have a hectic domestic schedule in terms of the league. We are just coming from Tanga where we had a community shield and there are other domestic competitions that we are going to be engaging in. So the, the team had to, 
look at its administrative stuff to see where people uh, can can help in terms of uh, administration and, and and logistics you know and operations therefore the club took a decision to uh, look for a chief operations officer uh, who could come in and uh, make sure that the team runs smoothly and seamlessly on a daily basis. Um, you'd agree with me that the Tanzanian league is very big um, and, and also the, the geographical locations of where the clubs are does not help us in any way. So we, had to, we have to be agile enough to see where, where we need to fix Consequently, the club then took a decision to bring in an experienced football administrator who has uh, worked for both the TFF and the National Premier League board. And um, we found uh, one, one administrator called Mr. Cassano. Uh, may Mr. Cassano uh, come in so that they they, 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 they see him. So Mr. Casano will be the Chief Operations Officer for Singida Fountain Gate FC. Um, you know, I looked at his CV. His CV is quite uh, rich. He has, uh, I think, two master's degrees um, from Canada and from the United Kingdom. He's well vested in operations of the Premier League because he's coming from there. Worked for the TFF before and uh, has done a lot of work in Africa as a, as a, as a CAF coordinator. So we are very confident that um, Mr. Cassano would add value to our Let me introduce him here. Thank you, Mr. Kazano. Welcome. So this is our big reveal. This is our big reveal today. This is the new operations, uh, uh, chief operations officer for the club. I think you all know him. Why are you not smiling, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kazano, welcome to Thank Singida you, Thank you, sir. Yeah. And... Um, the second, uh, the second point that I wanted to, that the, pr the, the press conference is, is premised on would be the, our CAF preparations. Um, as you know, on Friday, this Friday, we'll, we will be playing against JKU from Zanzibar in the first preliminary match, Confederations Cup. Uh, Cup. Mm. And um, we have been hard at work preparing for the, 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 the fixture. And um, so far, so good, as I, as I said. When you look at our signings this season, you could tell that the team wants to go far. And um, with the experience that we brought in in terms of the players, you can see that we really want to go far, at least to reach the, the group stages of of the tournament. I think we've been very unequivocal about, about that ambition. So we, we, as, as, as management, we've been at hard at work preparing for this match. Um, I think the, the test in Tanga um, really helped us assess ourselves um, in terms of where, where we need to, 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 to correct, where we need to fix, and, and how we go about planning. You would have noticed that after the match on Friday, we play prisons in Singida. So, and then we have to come back to play another, another leg, which is the second leg of that Confederations Cup. Therefore, it makes sense why um, the club would go for an experienced um, administrator such as Mr. Cassano, uh, who I said, um, has a colorful CV, has rich history in, in, in rich uh, background in terms of CAF as a former coordinator, CAF coordinator, uh, as a former uh, employee of the of the board league board, 
that experience will, will, will really help Singida Fountain Gate in terms of moving forward. Um, and, and I think I should give him the, the second item where he will out, outline you know, our, our in detail where we are in terms of preparation. But as I said, I want to thank you for giving us the support Maisha yanavyozidi kwenda ndivyo teknolojia inazidi kukua na teknolojia inahitaji elimu shule ya sekondari ya Vulana Sullivan Provosi iliyoko Kibaha kwa Matias wamefungua dirisha la usajili kwa wanafunzi watakaojiunga kidato cha kwanza mwaka 2024 interviews zitafanyika shuleni siku ya Jumamosi ya tarehe 16 mwezi wa 9 2023 saa 3 kamili asubuhi form za kujiandikisha zinapatikana Msimbazi Center kwa gharama ya shilingi 2020 Masomo ya Preform 1 yataanza tarehe moja mwezi wa kumi 2023 mpaka tarehe 30 mwezi wa kumi na 2023 kwa gharama ya shilingi laki tatu kwa kipindi chote cha miezi miwili pamoja na masomo mengine. Somo la muziki na lugha ya Kichina yatafundishwa bure bila malipo ya ziada. Kwa maelezo zaidi tupigie kwenye namba 0754108012 au 0715201012. Sullivan Provosti Boys Secondary School ni zaidi ya shule.